Hurricane season is here and damage to homes can be unavoidable, but another potential difficulty many of us are not even looking out for is fraud. President and Chief Executive Officer of National Insurance Crime Bureau, David Glowey, shared some time with us here on Inside South Florida and showed us how to be aware of fraudulent contractors and vendors. Take a look. Fraud. <laughs> it seems like nothing is immune to fraud these days. What kind of fraud can occur following natural disasters, David? Yeah, thanks for the question. We were just in Florida yesterday meeting with Governor DeSantis' office and the Chief Financial Officer Patrona signing a proclamation supporting fraud, Contractor Fraud Awareness Week. And right now, in 2021, we had $92 billion insured losses from catastrophic damages and $9.2 billion in fraud. And unfortunately, Florida is one of the top states for fraudulent activity. Well, wow, billions of dollars of, of, of fraud, one and two, it's sad to hear that Florida is, is at the top when it comes to this uh, egregious behavior. How can we be proactive though, David? What steps can we take beforehand to avoid potential fraud? Well, there's a couple things, and, and you know this very well in Florida, is be prepared for an event. So be prepared for a natural disaster, usually a hurricane or a wildfire event in Florida. Make sure you have three days of food and water, you have cell phone battery backup, and a place to stay if, an, if a catastrophic event or a hurricane is approaching. But then also ensure you have the right insurance coverages, comprehensive coverage. You have replacement costs for your for your, your household goods. Also, you have included in that shelter. You're going to need temporary housing. Because due to COVID-19 and the economic impact of supply chain issues in the labor market, your house is not going to be rebuilt for quite some time. So a good plan before an event occurs is key to be ready when you need it. Preparedness absolutely is key, David. Uh, fraudulent contractors, when we're on the men, when we're trying to rebuild um, after a, let's say, a hurricane or a storm here in South Florida, what are some warning signs to look out for? Absolutely. So the National Insurance Crime Bureau, we've been around for 110 years. We have investigators and analysts that are deployed in all 50 states. We have a large cadre in Florida, and we investigate these crimes. The key is, after an event occurs, get your family safe, get to an area where you have cell phone coverage, food, water, you're safe. And then take a pause, take a pause, contact your insurance carrier, file the claim and work with them to see if you have a vetted contractor list for your area. Also work with the Better Business Bureau and the state attorney general's office or the chief financial officer's office in the state of Florida to look for a vetted list of contractors. What you don't want to do is to hire a contractor that comes to the front porch or comes to your house or calls you on the phone and solicits you. You want to go through a vetting process, take a pause, get three contractor bids and go through the process with your insurance agent. Really doing those extra steps, as we said, about preparedness is key, as well as, as coming back from a disaster. Where can we go for more information, David? Absolutely. So the National Insurance Crime Bureau's website at www.nicb.org. We have a toolkit in preparation for a natural disaster and what to do afterwards. And if you are a victim of fraud, you can contact us at 1-800-TELL-NICB, and we can get those fraudulent criminal complaints filed with the right state organization, specifically in Florida.